Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we got some really interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting as you can see with a Samson Dauda physique update at two weeks out of the Arnold Classic and I got two important points to make about this physique update so the first one is basically what Andrew Jack says in the comments here so he says I just hope the Arnold sticks to its values which is purely classic and aesthetics and that's a wrap up folks, you're two times Iron Classic champ. So that's the first thing, and uh, yeah, like when you look at this physique update of Samson Dauda, you know, he looks really freaking impressive, like, you know, he's a 300 pounder, that's definitely a very important thing, like he's as big as Ronnie Common basically, maybe he's not as shaped as Ronnie, as complete as Ronnie, but he's on that level of size. Weight-wise, height-wise, they are very comparable. So he is a proper, legit mass monster. And for this size, he is decently conditioned. He is not as shredded as he can be, as some of the guys are. But, you know, this is a good conditioning right now, two weeks out. However, that second point that I was going to make is that his conditioning really didn't change much in the past two, three weeks. You know, it kind of looks the same, doesn't it? I think he was disconditioned at like five weeks out. I don't think he got that much leaner. I was kind of hoping to see something new, something different, like hard Japan level of conditioning, you know, something close to that at least. But it seems like it's not happening and it's maybe it's actually not because he's not able to suffer or he doesn't want to do too much cardio and he's afraid to lose muscle and stuff like that. Because Milo Sharto actually said that the judges' feedback was more conditioning. So they were really focused on bringing it finally. And Milo said that so far Samson has been doing minimal cardio, like almost none. So they decided to include more cardio to probably lower the foot even more and to try and bring something new, like some new level of conditioning of Samson that we haven't seen so far. And based on what I'm seeing right here, yeah, I would guess at the Iron Classic, Samson is gonna be in shape, but maybe only in shape for his own standards. Maybe his conditioning is gonna be similar to what he brought to last year's. Arnold Classic, you know, he probably won't be off the way he was at the Mr. Olympia, I think he's going to be in better shape, but is this gonna be like something insane, something new that we never saw? I mean, I don't think so, I really doubt that, because again, in the past couple of weeks, his conditioning didn't change much. This photo is from the end of January, so in the last two and a half weeks or so, I mean, he did get a little bit drier, I would say he's holding less water, but as far as conditioning, you know, like details, depth of the separation, I don't see a big change. This one is from five days ago, you can see the glutes, so he is not exactly bringing Mike Manser conditioning, right? He is not bringing Derek Lansford glutes, he is not going to match Heidi Chopin's conditioning, and that's what we're talking about here, really. Uh, he's going against one of the hardest looking bodybuilders ever, really. Like, who had this kind of separation hardness through that front part, at least? Like, chest, abs, quads... Like, it's really hard to find anybody that is this shredded, this, this hard. And Samson, I was hoping he's gonna bring something close to this. Because if he would do that, with his structure, with his shape, with his size, height and everything, if he had hard Japan conditioning or something similar to that, he would be unbeatable. And I don't think he's going to do that at this year's Arnold Classic, unfortunately. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they do something insane in these last two weeks, but I wouldn't bet on it. Usually the last two weeks are time to, you know, relax, to let your body recover, to refresh. Sometimes you even increase the carbs because you're not working on conditioning anymore, you're just maintaining what you got. And, you know, maybe he's gonna get fuller and, like, bigger and maybe a little bit harder, but... As far as conditioning, this is pretty much it. I don't expect any crazy changes from now on, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe like a crazy peak week protocol is gonna get him dry and he's gonna look different. I don't know, like there is a possibility, but yeah, I don't think so. Like Samson is gonna be his usual self, probably more conditioned than Mr. Olympia. And if he made some improvements or maybe he comes in a little bit harder and with the judging criteria, Ariano Classic, which could be a little bit different, maybe it's gonna be enough to beat Hardy 
to win his second Arnold Classic title and to position himself as the second best bodybuilder in the world and with all that momentum and maybe some improvements along the way he could beat Derek Lansford and win the Mr. Olympia which is something I would love to see because again I'm a fan of his physique of the way it's shaped I would like to see this kind of a physique be the best in the world and also, honestly, I want to see Milos Charche win a Mr. Olympia with his client, there is that too, but if they don't deserve it, they don't deserve it, I just want to see them do it, and I think it is possible, but we'll see. Anyways, for now, this is what Samson looks like at two weeks out, it's really impressive, it's really awesome, it's not a new level of conditioning that I was hoping for, but still, it is very possible that Samson is going to win the Iron Classic, what do you guys think? Alright, next up, we got a really freaking impressive physique update of Nick Walker at 13 weeks out of his next show, which is New York Pro. And tell me guys, what do you think? Is this a coincidence? Or is Nick Walker actually watching my videos? Because recently, actually in a couple of videos, I said I would like to see Nick Walker post more photos under some good lighting, like everybody else is doing. Because that's where he looks more impressive than, you know, in his mirror selfies and his physique updates for the coach. And he did exactly what I was saying he should do. I mean... I don't think he has time to actually watch my videos, it's probably a coincidence, but it's good that he did this. He posted a couple of shots under some awesome lighting, and finally we can see what he's actually looking like, because this is kind of the lighting that you're gonna see on stage, you know, it's definitely more like it. You know, his usual updates are under some lighting that is really showing everything, and that lighting is great for coaching updates, because you can see every single part of the physique, you can see exactly where body fat percent is, but if you want to impress the audience, if you want to impress people on social media, you post stuff like this, and this is really freaking impressive, so once again, conditioning is really freaking tight, and this guy never really lost it, you know, after that Mr. Olympia prep, he stayed in shape for a very long time, and I don't know how many of you guys compete, or you have done any diets, but you maybe know, after you diet, like, and you start eating again, you look super hard and super full for some time, and after a while, you start to get a little bit softer, you gain some body fat, and you lose some of that hardness, that 3D. Nick Walker did not. He definitely did not. He looked really shredded, really hard, full at the same time. He never lost that 3D, and here he is now in his prep 13 weeks out, and he's gonna just get harder and more full and round and more 3D. It's insane what this guy's body is capable of, and it's even crazier that he is able to make progress still. Still. I mean, people keep saying that he reached his maximum potential, that he plateaued, that he can't get any bigger, any better, but he keeps proving everybody wrong, and the way he's training right now, if you watch his YouTube videos, like, he's not really focused on the stretch, he's really squeezing everything he's doing, which is usually what guys do when they want more details, and that's exactly what he wants, he doesn't really want to get any bigger, he wants to get more detailed, however, even training like that, he keeps on progressing, he keeps on growing, I think he improved his chest, actually, his chest was always his weak area, but now... It's, it's better, it's definitely growing, I think his back also improved, I think his shoulders are bigger, and I think his legs are better too, so this guy keeps progressing, I don't know for how long will this keep on, I mean, he's a young guy, he's 29 I believe now, he's turning 30 I believe this year, so he's still very young, I mean, bodybuilders usually reach their peak at like 35, so I think this guy has a long career ahead of him if his health stays good, because we all know he's pushing the boundaries, he's maintaining this really heavy weight all year round, and he's in shape also, I don't know, he's probably pushing things, but yeah, I mean, he's a freak, and I'm super impressed with this guy, because I respect what he's doing so much, how devoted he is, and how much actual progress he's making, how massive he actually is, I mean, everybody is trying to make progress, to grow, to be conditioned on stage, and this guy is just killing it in every department, maybe he's not exactly blessed with the best structure, that's the only thing holding him back, but as far as making progress, getting bigger, getting conditioned, you know, making improvements, he's just really doing everything, and it's really interesting, it's really fun to follow a guy like this, and in my opinion, he is the best bodybuilder of today, I don't know if he's gonna win Mr. Olympia on stage, maybe he will, maybe he won't, but in my eyes, 
he is the GOAT, he is the greatest bodybuilder of this era that we are in right now and I'm pretty sure New York Pro is gonna be a cakewalk for him and he might even win the Mr. Olympia later in the year, we'll see about that Alright, next we got Anton Weant at 2 weeks out of Arnold Classic and this is his conditioning right now and this is a solid conditioning, like he is bringing probably his best shape up to date I don't know if he was ever this shredded, this freaking hard and in this video he's not even showing his legs and his legs are like some of the best legs in professional bodybuilding today his upper body not exactly as big, as full, as round but as you can see he's bringing really good conditioning so this guy is not missing his peak like he is gonna be shredded, he's going to be detailed, his legs are gonna be massive so maybe we are kind of underestimating this guy, maybe he's gonna be one of the guys to battle for like a top 5, top 6 spot It's not impossible, it's actually pretty possible You know, because of his, you know, smaller upper body compared to his legs He may seem like a smaller bodybuilder, but he's not, he's like 270 or something like that because his legs are massive and he's a taller guy, so, you know, he's, as they say, deceivingly big. All things considered, you know, he might be, like, top 6 best case scenario, top 5 is a bit of a stretch. I mean, okay, sure, he battled against uh, James Hollins, he had the Mr. Olympia 2022, and I think they were, like, one spot, uh, one next to another. So maybe this time around he can challenge him as well, if James is, like, 5th and maybe Antoine, you know, pushes him and ends up in 6th, you know, that's a possibility. But, like, there is a lot of good guys, it's really hard to predict something like this. I just know that Antoine is bringing, like, really good conditioning, he's really shredded for two weeks out. I don't think many guys are this shredded right now, and it's gonna be a very interesting Arnold Classic. Not just the fight for the top spot, not even for the top five, the entire show is gonna be really exciting, so I can't wait to watch it. Anyways, guys, tell me in the comment section down below, do you think Samson is gonna bring something new, new level of conditioning, can he win the Arnold Classic, and what do you think about Nick Walker right now, and what would Nick Walker do if he did the Arnold Classic the way he looks right now, I mean, I, I think he would probably be in the top 3 still, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, if you wanna see more stuff like this about bodybuilding, subscribe to the channel, guys, thanks so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.